Basketball is one of the most illustrious sports in history. The skills of the players have allowed the sport to evolve with new regulations to make it fairer. Welcome to Eternity Hoops. Today, we are going to review the evolution of basketball. Basketball is a sport invented by James Naismith, a Canadian-American physical educator and innovator in Springfield in 1891. The coach's idea was to create a game that would keep his students active during the winter, when outdoor sports were not possible. He came up with a simple but ingenious idea. He nailed two peach baskets to the lower railing of the gymnasium balcony, one on each side, and asked his students to throw a soccer ball into them. The game, while entertaining, lacked explosiveness. The cause was simple. The dribble had not yet been invented. That was one of the first changes in 1896. Before that, players could not move with the ball and had to pass it every time they picked it up. This made the game slow and boring and also limited the creativity and skill of the players. Dribbling changed the situation. It allowed players to move around the court, elude defenders, and create opportunities for themselves and their teammates. It was a key element that distinguished basketball from other ball sports, such as football or rugby. One of the first players to master the art of dribbling was Bob Cozy, who played for the Boston Celtics from 1950 to 1963, more than 50 years later. Cozy was nicknamed the Houdini of the Hardwood for his ability to dribble past defenders with speed and style. He led the league in assists for eight consecutive years and won six NBA championships with the Celtics. Another change was the invention of the metal hoop in 1893. The original baskets had a closed bottom, which meant that every time a team scored, someone had to climb a ladder and retrieve the ball from the height of 10 feet. This disrupted the flow of the game and wasted a lot of time. The metal hoop solved this problem. It had an open bottom, which allowed the ball to pass through the hoop and fall back onto the court. The hoop also made the game more consistent and fair, as it eliminated the possibility of the ball getting stuck in the basket or bouncing out, a crucial improvement that modernized basketball and made it more practical and efficient. Just a few years later, in 1898, an official basketball league would be created, and just another eight years later, one crucial change was the adoption of the backboard in 1906. The backboard was a wooden or glass, <laughs> well, backboard that was attached to the wall behind the basket. It served two main purposes. One was to prevent spectators from interfering with the ball or reaching into the basket. The other was to allow players to take bank shots, which are shots that bounce off the backboard before going into the basket. The backboard added another dimension to the game as it gave players more options and angles for scoring. One of the players who best utilized the backboard was Larry Bird, who played for the Boston Celtics from 1979 to 1992. Bird was a 6'9 small forward who had extraordinary shooting touch and vision. He often used the backboard to make difficult shots from various angles, especially in decisive situations. With the Celtics, he won three NBA championships and three MVP awards, but his dominance came no less than 75 years after the implementation of the backboard in the NBA. Another important change was the creation of the three-point line in 1961 by the American Basketball League, or ABA. The three-point line was a semicircular arc extending from both sides of the court, 23 feet 9 inches from the basket. It marked a zone from which shots were worth three points instead of two. Basically, it rewarded long-range shooters and encouraged teams to spread out their offense and defense. It also added more drama and suspense to the game as teams could come back from big deficits or win close games with a single shot. The line was a revolutionary innovation that transformed basketball and made it more strategic and exciting. One of the pioneers of the three-point shot was Rick Barry, who played for the NBA's San Francisco Warriors and the ABA's Oakland Oaks from 1965 to 1980. Barry was a 6'6 small forward who was approximately 30% accurate from beyond the arc, which for that time was pretty impressive. He led the ABA in scoring for two seasons, scoring 34 and 35 points per game. Again, however, dominance from this distance would not occur until generations later when Stephen Curry's Warriors found their signature way to base their offense. The next big change was the development of the shot clock in 1954 by the NBA. It was a device that counted down 24 seconds, 
which recently was reduced to 14 seconds after offensive rebounds. It basically indicated how long a team had to shoot before losing possession and was introduced to prevent teams from stalling or holding the ball for too long, which made the game boring. A change that has remained in place to this day and shows no sign of changing. The cause of this problem was George Mikan, a center for the Los Angeles Lakers named in the 75 greatest players in league history. He developed his career even before Wilt Chamberlain, and his dominance was so absolute that opponents would do anything to keep the ball out of his hands. This included keeping possession for minutes. A few years earlier, we found the appearance of the dunk. It was in 1944 and is mostly remembered by Bob Curland. Initially, the dunk was banned by some leagues and colleges as too violent or disrespectful. These restrictions were even repeated during the 1970s in the NCAA. However, it soon became a popular and spectacular move that demonstrated the ultimate in athleticism. The dunk also inspired many innovations such as alley-oops, reverse dunks, pinwheel dunks, tomahawk dunks, 360 dunks, and unimaginable variations, and ended up being the star of one of the league's most prestigious annual events. One of the players who popularized the dunk was Julius Irving, who played for the Virginia Squires and the New York Nets of the ABA and later the Philadelphia 76ers of the NBA from 1971 to 1987. Irving, or as he was known, Dr. J, had splendid athletic qualities, which, coupled with his great talent, led to some of the greatest plays in league history. The formation of the National Basketball Association took place in 1949, the result of the merger of two rival leagues, the Basketball Association of America and the National Basketball League. The ABA was founded in 1946 by the owners of the major ice hockey arenas in the Northeast and Midwest. Their goal was to establish a major professional basketball league in larger urban markets. The NBL was founded in 1937 by industrial companies in the Midwest and Great Lakes region, and its own goal was to provide entertainment and leisure for their employees and communities. The two leagues competed for players, fans, and media attention for three years until they decided to join forces and create the NBA. The NBA is now the most prestigious and popular basketball league in the world, with 30 teams and the best players in history. It has also been a leader in promoting diversity, social justice, and global outreach, making it one of the most socially impactful leagues in history. This has multiplied with the arrival of Adam Silver, commissioner who came to the position after the resignation of David Stern, who also did many things for the league. One of the players who symbolized the growth and popularity of the NBA was, of course, Michael Jordan who played for the Chicago Bulls from 1984 to 1988. His brand of sneakers, his highlights, his dominance, all were factors that served to export the product outside the United States where it has become popular. The Asian market is huge. The European public has taken an interest in the league and is producing stars of the highest level. And now the reach is global and that progress looks set to continue for years to come. When change happens, it takes generations for players to take full advantage of it sometimes to such an extent that the league has to intervene to make it fairer and more entertaining. But there is no doubt, every year, the NBA tries to put on the best show for all viewers. If you enjoy NBA content like this, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. This has been The Evolution of Basketball.